Hey, what's up? This is Wynn, and this is an exclusive interview for Sinden Al. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up, Sinden? I'm Wynn, and I been singing ever since I was 11. I remember representing my class when I was in the sixth grade, and um, you know, um, I eventually won. Thank God, because <laughs> uh, you know, because I won. You know, I, I started performing in several you know school events, and you know, since since then, I I just I just found you know that um, the then newfound passion of singing, and I just I just love it. You know, I just love the the feeling of being on stage and just. And just you know, being able to sing your heart out, and and yeah, it, it's so it's so fulfilling. Please just stay with me till later. The I just released my first single. It's called Overload. It's gonna be a part of. Um, it's gonna be in my my debut EP, uh, which will be out in 2017, and. Um, a lot of exciting things to come um, for that EP. I'm gonna be collaborating with some amazing people in it, and so far the response for Overload has been overwhelming in a good way, of course. And I I did not expect people to, you know, to to like it or or even love it because when when I first recorded the song, when I you know when I wrote it with my friend uh, Lines for Eyes, A.K.A. Josh from the Boris Suit, you know we we didn't. We didn't set any target that okay, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, on on you know featured on this platform or on that platform. We just wanted to write and and create art, I guess. So you know when we knew that the response has been really positive, we felt like it was, you know, it was it felt really rewarding for us. For female singers, I would say that Christina Aguilera really inf um, inspired me to, to sing in the first place. I remember the first time I heard her sing was when um, Reflection came out, um, the song from the Disney Mulan uh, movie. And I was just like, man, who, who is this? I mean, like, this, this voice is just so good. And then uh, when I found out that it was Christina Aguilera, I was just like, man, this is my new favorite singer. <laughs> and, and she's still my favorite singer until now. I have a a life size um, you know cut out of her actually here in my room <laughs> show it to you guys later um, but yeah I mean she's she's amazing I love I love her back to basics album and um, every everything that was before back to basics um, she's she's just amazing I can't wait for for her new album next year Frank Ocean was like my first ever um, you know my, my my first love towards um, you know, music or like singers who don't necessarily have like an amazing voice. And when I first heard Channel Orange, I was just like, man, like this is something different. And and I love how the interludes, the intros, and the outros are are just so well thought of. And like, you know, I've never, I had never heard anything like like that before prior to Channel Orange and prior to knowing who Frank Ocean was. And he's just so honest about his music. Uh, I mean, you can you can hear it in, in his in his songs and uh, you know through his lyrics, and I love how how he could just express whatever he wanted to say through his songs and and just be himself. I love Justin Timberlake for sure. Um, his voice is just amazing. Uh, his music as well, and Childish Gambino. Um, he does it all. I mean, he sings. He he produces music. He writes his own songs, um, he acts as well um, in different kinds of movies and, and TV shows. And, and yeah, I mean, he inspires me to, to do it all. I would love to work with Frank Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Save it for the album, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, fingers crossed. I mean, uh, yeah, I've, I've been... I'm gonna be working with Lines for Eyes, aka Josh of the Boris Suit, again for uh, several tracks. Um, I mean, me and him, you know, we we just have crazy good chemistry, and you know, we want to keep it that way. And and we 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 figured that man, you know, like when we work together, the everything is is possible. And I'll be collaborating with um, Dion Mashiro as well. 
Um, I've been, um, you know, I've been wanting to collaborate with him ever since we, you know, we became friends back in 2010, which was like more than half a decade, I guess. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, this time, this time around where it's, it's happening and I'm really excited to work with him. I'll be working with, um, with my best friend who's living in Canada. His name is, um, well, his stage name is, is uh, Ed C, uh, a.k.a. Omar Prazari. So um, he's such a talented musician as well. And um, we've been friends like for so long. And, um, you know, when, when he knew that I want to get get into this, you know, whole music thing, like um, more seriously, he was just like, yeah, man, like, let's do something together. And, um, you know, even though he's in he's in Vancouver, Canada, um, you know, the, the existence of the Internet makes it so easy to to basically, you know, do anything without having to, you know, to meet face to face. The video for Overload is directed by Samuel Erha and we shot it in just like um, four hours I think but you know the the, the whole pre-production took like days and um, you know we had to buy a lot of stuff for, for the props and in like different different uh, different places um, but you know just a fun fact we actually bought all the stuff in the video on the same day uh, of the filming and I have to admit that that was not the best decision <laughs> I mean um, I was busy with work and um, you know Sam was also busy with his own thing and we only had the time to, to do everything on that one day um, I remember going to like um, you know to, to, to buy this stuff in, in this uh, market and then we had to buy this stuff in that supermarket in that place and like it was all over Jakarta and we got to the set um, it was actually a hotel um, a secret, a top secret hotel somewhere in South Jakarta. Uh, you know, we got there at like um, 7.30, 8pm and um, we, we were supposed to start at like 6. But um, but it was alright. I mean, um, we managed to pull through and um, we finished um, the whole the whole filming at like um, 2, 3 a.m. And we had to return like all the equipments like straight away after, uh, after we got done with the filming. And you, you know, even though we were just so tired, and I, I swear, I, uh, I was just, I swear I could see, like, some, some, some scenes in the music video where I was just, like, almost half asleep, like, I was, like, so sleepy, but then Sam was like, okay, like, come on, don't be sleepy, like, wake up, like, we're almost done, like, we're gonna get through this, and I was like, okay, alright, okay, just, just a little bit more, and, and yeah, um, it was um, it was a really good experience. You know, local talents that I've been keeping an eye on has to be um, the Boris Suit, um, amazing band, great guys. You know, um, other than other than the Boris Suit, Nadine, who uh, you know, whom I saw performing at Jakarta Warehouse Project, you know, earlier this December, um, she performed this song called All Good with Deepa Barus. And it was so good. I mean, um, you know, I, I discovered her from, from Instagram, um, from Deepa Barsh's Instagram, I think. And then I was just like, oh man, who is this girl? I mean, like, you know, she's so young and so talented and, and she posts, like, you know, videos of her singing. And her voice is just amazing. Elephant Kind, uh, their latest music videos are just so good. And um, I love how their, you know, their new stuff are you know inspired by a little bit of Kanye <laughs> as well shout out to Ibam <laughs> Emir Hermono I must say uh, and Arun Ayaka um, they're trapped 3 a.m. in Jakarta so good yeah Jenny uh, Trasatriani as well yeah or aka Sunny um, yeah he, he's, he's been doing a lot of good you know good tracks and I'm sure that um, you know it just keeps getting better with him Rebel Sons as well, uh, you know, I'm good friends with them, Dai and Gilang, and um, their tracks, um, World Number no. 2 especially, are amazing. Yeah, Naj, aka Najmi as well, and um, Novocaine, yeah, Novocaine, I, I love the track that Naj did with, you know, with Novocaine, um, make you make you mind that part, you know, that, that song, so good, so good, too good, yeah. 
and yeah, I think that I think that's about it for for local towns that I would love to you know keep an eye on. More tracks, definitely an EP, more music videos, and of course a live performance. Finally, because uh, you know I've been wanting to perform Overload live, but. You know, with only one track out, of course, it would be po- it would be impossible for me to just you know sing one song um, live. Um, so I'm really excited to perform Overload and you know some other tracks that I've been working on with my friend like live because I think it's gonna give a different experience to to my listeners um, to everyone that has listened to Overload. Um, you know that, that live treatment. Um, it's gonna be amazing i i've always loved performing live i mean you know before before when i've i've performed um you know um my previous originals and and like um you know covers as well and i just love the feeling of you know performing live in front of people and like just engage with them and just you know make them feel good and just you know just have a good time with everybody and i just love the sensation of performing live and i can't wait to finally perform Overload live. So, yeah, that's what 2017 Sweet. is gonna be like for when. Okay.